Awa. Welcome once again to another episode. And the name remains Andy, the CEO of the Nick Farms, popularly known as the Rabbit Ambassador. Um, if this is the first time you are watching the channel, do well to subscribe so that you'll be the first to get the notification whenever we put up something new. Our contacts are always open. Okay, you can WhatsApp us, you can call us anytime. Anything you need about Rabbit, just give us a call. The comment section is open for you to comment and let us know what to talk about in the next episode. Today, I'm going to talk about the feeders and I'm going to demonstrate to you the capacity of the feeders. Okay, uh, this is the drinker, uh, this is the, uh, the feeder for the single rabbits you can use this for maybe a couple of them maybe two the, the list is three you know if there are many it should be three and this is for the bunnies that are about um, six weeks old coming up and this you can use for the from six weeks to three months and this you can use for the mature ones that are about three months and above okay so i want to show you the capacity the quantity of feed it can take so that you have an idea uh, whenever i'm talking about the feeders or you have an idea the magic that is doing okay so with the drinker i have a cup of water here that's about that's one liter actually so this cup is like one liter and i'm going to pour it in the drinker for you to see the capacity okay so here we go we have just a little bit left and this can take a day for your rabbits regardless of the number you can give them this if it's just one rabbit it can take the whole day till maybe the next day possibly if they are more than two maybe you have to just give them some again in the evening now with the uh, feeder we have some feed here and we have the milk tin and uh, i'm going to measure it for you to see the quantity it can take to full now it's not necessary that you fool it you you feed the animals with the full feeder no but i just want you to see the capacity so that you have an idea when you give them the quantity that you used to give them they can't waste it because if the feed is halfway in this feeder there's no way the rabbits can have access put the leg to to waste the feed because the head can go in but they will not have the space or the chance for their legs to go in for them to waste their feet. So here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have seven of the milk thin that goes into the single feeder. So there is no need putting all or putting that much, but I just want you to see the capacity that, and it's not even full properly. Okay, so <clears throat> with this, you can put any quantity of feed and your animal will still not waste it. So we have the seven in here. I'm going to pour it here and then top it up again for us to see the capacity this one can also take. So we have the seven there and then eight. Nine. And then this is 10. Okay, so when you have quite a number of animals and you put, let's say you measure 10 of the milk thing for them, and they are all eating together. By the time you know, the food is halfway and they will not have the chance to waste it as well. So we have 10 in this and I'm going to pour it here 
and then we top up and see the quantity this can take. Okay. So that's 10. This 11. Thirteen. Okay, so this one takes thirteen of the milk thing for it to be full. So I'm going to pour it here and then we see the capacity of the family feeder itself. Okay, so here we have 13. Fourteen. Fifteen. okay so you can see for yourself uh, if you have multiple animals a group of animals and then you give them 16 of this by the time you know the food is halfway gone and there's no way they will have access to wasting it all right so <clears throat> if this is the first time you are watching this video don't forget to subscribe our numbers are always on the screens do well to call us anytime you need any of our products. Uh, product. The prices are very affordable. And mind you, I'm more of advocating for these feeders because if you really want to do well in rabbit farming, you really need these feeders. And don't also forget that you also need to consider the spacing in your cage and then the, the quality of your cage in order to use some of uh, these feeders so <clears throat> once again thank you for watching and then i'll be looking out for you in the next episode thank you very much bye bye